Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Are you wondering just how much water ended up in the watershed, the reservoir system, when we had those two tropical events collide over Mexico here recently? Well, it wasn't a big payday, but it did end up putting a dent in our crisis with our shares up a little bit on both sides, Mexico and the U.S., and the overall total amount of water up a bit, but still, it wasn't spectacular. The chance for rain in this forecast increases as the week wears on, courtesy of a cold front coming our way, stalling out, hanging out, and then kind of taking a new shape Friday and Saturday, increasing the chance for rain. Satellite and radar combined at the time of this recording showing that, yeah, showers and thunder showers along the head end of this system, but as this whole thing moves east, and by whole thing I mean the low, the L, and the cold front coming out of the bottom of it there, as all of that slides east, it will drape south and that will push on through and across Texas and eventually the valley. So let's look at the southern end of all of that here in deep south Texas. For Tuesday, we're pretty much the same, partly cloudy, humid, southeast breezes, but then Wednesday, the front moves on in and fires off a few showers and thunderstorms, but it's still not looking spectacular. It just looks like an increased chance. It's what's going to happen afterwards that could very well bring in an improved chance to the valley. Here you see Friday and Saturday, as the front hangs out and stalls out in our neighborhood, it may very well take on some rotation, develop its own little storm there, and make itself move off you know, to the east while dumping more rain, while pushing more energy and moisture over us, providing a better chance for rain. So that's good. We, we see this happen all the time as a, as a front stalls out across the valley. It eventually does what's called, it performs what's called cyclogenesis, where the cyclone, the area of low pressure, uh, just is spontaneously born right along that front off our shore and then it goes on to the north in the winter time this usually generates a nice snow for folks in Kentucky <laughs> as that moves on uh, seven day forecast shows you that indeed the chance for showers will be increasing on into the end of the week and peaking through the weekend and then drying up as we move into early next week that's a look at your 24 7 forecast